This is my brand new Pelican Axiom XP100. It's a 10 foot. It is rated for 300 pounds capacity. And the best thing about this is that anybody can lift this. It weighs at about 53 pounds. Now, depending on where you guys want to pick this up at, it varies between 50 bucks, give or take. The average price is about $850. One bonus when you pick this up, it does come with the paddle. You do have to buy them separately on most, most kayaks, but obviously the price is really included on the top price on this. Now, why I upgraded on this kayak because my butt hurts on the Boost 100. It gets sore over, over the day when you're out there all the time by yourself, especially when the water's rough. These come with really nice seats. Now, you can take them out. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I'll show you every little add-on, the nooks, the crannies, the extra little features that this boat comes with so you guys can make an educated guess on whether or not this kayak is for you. Now we're gonna start at the stern, and in order to be a kayak captain, you have to act like one, so you have to know the positions. Very important. That is the stern, that is the bow, port, starboard. Now, since you're all certified to run a kayak, these are all the stuff, the things, the strings it comes with. <laughs> at the back, you got your strings to put all your captain stuff, like your ties, your suits, and your luggage, whatever you guys want to bring on your maiden voyage. The coolest part is there's actually quite, you know what, hang on. We're gonna get a tape measure and give you a better idea. Because we are very, very thorough, hang on. At the back, you got quite a bit of room. We'll just go from about where the seat is, which there's still more, but you gotta allow for the room there. And you got about 29 inches. And it's roughly about four and a half to five inches deep. It does give you a lot of room. Put all your stuff and you can tie it down when you're hitting those mad white rapids. And you got two drain holes at the bottom. The bonus to this thing that I absolutely love is that it has two rod holders at the back. I love that. Before I'd always, always have to put them between my legs at the front, my pole, and it was really a pain and there's not enough room for any of that. Moving on to the seat. Actually moving back to the back, do not use these rod holders for trolling. I've seen a lot of videos, guys, they're not meant for that. They're kind of flimsy, they snap. Just don't put them in there for trolling. You have to hold them or get actual rod holders to go to the front. Now back to the seat. You stay there. To take this out, you put it forward, this is just on a pivot right here. You can check in a second, but I'm going to show you I take it out. Snap it forward and it comes out. So if you guys are transporting it, you don't want to use it or leave it there. Um, yeah, you can take it out. Oh, hang on. We're going to take it completely out. It's got another string under here too. See, it comes out just like this. And one thing everybody says in videos, and it's pretty obvious, they don't come with little grommets here. You want to get those uh, end table things and put them under here because that is actually going to wear into your plastic in your kayak. I don't know why they wouldn't put those on to start with. Kind of silly. And also about the seat, it is very adjustable right here. Depending how far you want to lean back or forward, you adjust it here. It is the, what is it called again? Ergo Coast seat is very comfortable. I really like the seats. I've been sitting in it quite a bit pretending I'm fishing. We'll show you really quickly since it's out. So this is the other piece, this, blah, 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 blah. this is the other piece that holds the seat down and the other piece sits back here and this is where it's gonna wear through. So you wanna get something nice for the ends and this is where it snaps in. So it's super easy to take out and put back in. Another thing to note, the water will be draining all through here, down there, back through here, down through there and out the hole. So you're always gonna have good drainage when you get a lot of water in here. So a couple a couple more cool things. You got your holder on the side for your paddle because it's so nice because if you don't have these, usually you put it across your front or whatever, or just put it on, on the side and it's such a pain. Like the Pelican Boost doesn't have this. It's something simple. It's just a little strap here and you take it off just like that. And there's one on each side, whether you're left or right. So you just throw it under here. Ooh, oh, that's gonna be inexpensive. Don't you fall. Don't you fall. So we're gonna put it back very carefully. And then you just strap it. I'll show you after I get the strap, make sure that camera doesn't fall. And you strap it around here. Okay, let me grab you. Feel safer. So right here, either side, strap it down. And like, it's good. It's not, definitely not ever going to come off. Huge bonus. Another thing I didn't uh, note at the start, well actually kind of forgot. It's got a nice handle here. And on the side, these are the best things. You have handles on both sides that are pop riveted in. Because the boost, obviously, I think I got a really, I shouldn't have bought the boost. Don't buy the boost if you're looking at it. The reviews, I'll leave a real link at the end if you guys want to check that video out too. There's nice handles to grab each side, 53 pounds, remember, and the fact that you have a handle makes it so much easier to lift. We're going to skip here to the bow. That is another handle, which is super nice to have. What you also you have is these uh, rail mounts. So you can get the GoPro mounts, you can get like the, 
um, the rod holders, you can put those in, which is super, super nice. It's super easy to take it out because sometimes you get those ones that screw in and you can't really do anything about it and it just gets in the way. So that cleans it up, makes it a little bit nicer. There is another one on this side too. And they also, these are your footrest things, which is nice to have too, depending on your um, height, your, either you're vertical challenged or not, you can use the proper adjustments. And another thing too, you have a beverage holder, kind of a bonus so it doesn't roll all over or lose it. You have another little place here, a cuppy holder, put whatever you want, and some string on the front too for the rest of your stuff that you're gonna bring along on your little adventure. That is my new kayak. I hope this video helped you out. If it did in any which way possible, up or down, please consider subscribing. Thank you. See you on the next one.